Scooby must have gotten up to an early start. But I wonder where everyone else is. It seems very quiet in here. Scooby. Fred. Thatcher. Velma. Hi pal. It looks like it's just the three of us for the holidays. The three of us? Yeah. You're home alone. Home alone. Excuse me, man. <laughs> All girls, no gang leader. Probably a fancy orphanage. Okay, that's thirty-seven dollars and seventy-eight cents. Not for me, kid. I don't live here. You're just around for the holidays. I guess you could say that. The pizza's here. Here you go. It's $37.78. I don't pay bills, sir. The gang leader, which is Fred Jones, will take care of it. Hey, excuse me. Hi. Do you Fred Jones? Yes. The Fred Jones that is the gang leader of the Scooby-Doo gang and lives here? Yes. Oh good, because somebody owes me $37.78. Shaggy was the one who ordered the pizza if you saw him carrying all the pizzas a few seconds ago. But here is $37.78. Thank you. You're welcome. Merry Christmas. I'd like a word with you, sir. Am I under arrest for giving people concussions too much or something? Oh, no, 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 no. It's Christmas time. There's always a lot of burglars around the holidays. So we're just checking the neighborhood to see if everyone's taking the proper precautions. And are you and your gang going on vacation tomorrow morning? Yes, we are. Okay. Just advice to you that you should secure your house to prevent the burglars from breaking in. No burglar will break into my house on my watch. But thanks for telling me that. Anytime. Looks like I pizza, found pizza, the perfect Pizza, 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 pizza. Okay, that was weird. Now where was I? Oh, yay. Looks like I found the perfect house for me and Anthony to rob from while the Scooby Doo gang is away. Ha 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 So listen gang. I have decided that I am going to take a holiday break from being mean to nice Fred like the one from my show to give you all a winter break from me. Ooh. That's a change of you, Fred. I've never heard those words come out from you before. That way we will have a nice Christmas break without any of your mean drama. Yes. But the deal here is that after dinner, we have to go to bed because our flight leaves at 8 a.m. in the morning and we need to leave the house at 7 a.m. But I want to have a nice winter break without any drama and I won't be drink driving while on the way to the airport like what I did in the past. It seems like you are changing your attitude for once for this year's Christmas. I can't wait to have our holiday in Chicago. Same here. Me too.
Gang members. What, Fred? We slept in 20 minutes late. There is no way that we are going to make this flight in time. It is leaving in 25 minutes. I won't let that happen, Velma. Now get into the van. Did we miss the flight? No, you just made it. Yes! We made it. I expect that we weren't going to. Don't you believe it? Yeah, I hope that we are not forgetting anything. Scooby must have gotten up to an early start. But I wonder where everyone else is. Fred. Fred. Daphne. Daphne. Velma. She is not in her room neither. I have never seen the house this quiet before. Where is everybody? Scooby. Buddy. Where are you? Scooby. Velma. Daphne. Fred. Anyone down here? It is very dark down here. The van is gone. Since the van is gone, the gang must have gone out somewhere without me. But where would they go? Oh crap. They forgot me. The gang and me were going away to Chicago for Christmas, but they must have forgot about me. This is not good. I have to call Fred that they forgot to bring me. What the? What? My internet is not connected. Our internet might have got disconnected overnight by the snowstorm that I heard last night. There is no way to call Fred without internet. Looks like I'm stuck here. Since the gang is in Chicago and I'm here alone, that means... I'm home alone. I'm free. War Now, Fred's weapons. What should I take? The 45 pistol, the USP-40, the AK-47, the M-14. And what is that? A musket. That just gives me an idea. I've just used Fred's life savings money to buy McDonald's, and I am now watching Harry Straff the Go Animator. Where has he gone to anyway? Ooh. That's God to hurt. Oh my goodness gracious. Fred. What happened? And are you okay? I will tell you later what happened Shaggy and Scooby.
You need come poops call the doctor because I am all out of shape. That was an epic video I have to admit. I can't wait to you land in Chicago in the next hour. Do you as well Shaggy? 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 What was that yelling Shaggy for Scooby? Shaggy's not on the airplane! Shaggy's not on the airplane? This is going to be fun, I bet. <laughs> Woohoo! I did everything I can. I even got a call from my landlord a few minutes ago that our power at home has been knocked out from the last night's snowstorm. We'll call Ghost City until we land. I'm sure he's all right. I can't believe that we forgot our best bud. We never go anywhere without each other. But I can't believe I forgot you and we overslept. What kind of bud am I? All right, then listen here. I'm going to call the police and we'll book a flight home. Maybe somebody like Helena or anybody who lives on our street can help us. Here is my address book. 911, what's your emergency? Hi, I'm Fred, the leader of the Scooby-Doo gang, and I'm calling from Chicago. I have a gang member that is home alone and our internet is down and I want somebody to go over to the house to see if he's alright and tell him that we are coming home. What's the name of that member? The name's Shaggy. Okay, we'll send a police car over to your house to check on your member. Thank you. They are sending a police car to the house to check on Shaggy. Well, that's a relief, but Daddy or Velma couldn't get anybody. All I get is that this phone number you are trying to call is disconnected. The snowstorm must have knocked down all the houses in our neighborhood's internet. Well, that sucks. But for the meantime, I'll book us a flight home. There is no one home. The house looks secure. All right then. There's nothing to go city. There's nothing to go city. The only flight that we can find for you guys to go city is Monday morning. Monday morning? We can't wait that long. We need to get to go city right now. Can you do a private plane? Sorry but we can't do that since it's Christmas. If you all want to stay at the airport, maybe we can get you on standby. There's a possible chance that we can get a flight to Go City for you guys before Christmas Day. We'll wait. Let's go and sit by the chairs for the meantime. My family's got on one block alone. They all told me from their own mouths. It's almost too easy. Check it out. All the houses with nobody home, at automatic time was on their lives. But I've got it all figured out. Watch this. Number 115 will be going on, right about. Now. Ah. Uh. Wait, wait, wait. Number 108. Right. Now. Ha 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 ha. One more. 107. Now, and that's the one Anthony, that's the silver tuna. Oh, it's very G. Very G, huh? It's loaded. It's a lot of stuff. Money, video games, toys. Probably looking at some very fine jewelry. Who knows what awaits us in there? It's a gem. Grab your crowbar. Crowbar's up. He had no idea what the villagers were going to do, but he knew it was going to be a big surprise. 
When the engines woke the next morning, they could not. Jets had been reached to the death. We'll go around Pilots back to one of the doors. Follow the me. engines whistled in their lights and everyone agreed that. Which door should we go into? We'll go to the one that leads to the basement. It's over here. They're going to the basement. I have to do something about it. I thought you said they were gone. The leader told me that they were leaving this morning. Let's get out of here. You. They're gone. <sighs> I'm getting tired anyway. I guess I will get myself ready for bed. I'm starting to miss the gang as well as my buddy Scooby. I guess I'm going to have to spend Christmas without them if they don't return soon and I forgot what day we were coming back. But from now after when I finish getting ready, I'm going to do some food shopping at Go Market. Other than that I'll be in good shape. I'll use one of Fred's life savings bags to buy the groceries. I thought the Marqueses went to New York City. Oh well. Please leave a message after you hear the beep. Hi Elena, this is Fred Jones. And if you want to know where we are right now, we are in Chicago for the holidays and won't be back during this week. Have a Merry Christmas. Hey Belair, that house we were last night. Was that Fred Jones's house? Yes. Then you're right. They're gone. I knew that they were. <laughs> There's some steak. I'll get a box of it for Fred. I'm here to buy all these, sir. All these in total will cost $30.61. Here's the money, sir. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Same to you. Tell me that you kept the water running. You kept it running. What the heck is wrong with you? I told you to not do that. Blay, it's our calling card. All the cool people do that. We're the wet bandits. I'd rather be there for the both of us besides going to stupid school. Well, I'd rather be out in the real world besides going to school since that place teaches you like you are worse than Hitler. But whatever you say. Watch out. Hey, 
Hey, hey, you gotta watch out for traffic, son, you know? Sorry. And what you got there? A bag of groceries? I've never seen people in these parts shopping on Christmas Eve. <laughs> all right, all right. Merry Christmas. Huh. What's the matter? I did not like the way how that dude looked at me. He looks familiar a little bit to me. Let's see what house he goes into. Maybe if he goes into a house, you might recognize him from there. It's way to shot it. I really hope that there will be an available flight date. We have been in this airport all night waiting for a flight to Gold City, but still nothing to Gold City. Excuse me, can I talk to you guys for a second? What is it, sir? I heard you yesterday that you guys were having some problems getting to Go City. Is that correct? Yes, sir. We left one of our gang members behind on accident and we are trying to get to Go City and there are no flights available until tomorrow. I'm sorry to hear that. But our band can drive you home to Go City since we need to get to New York City for our band and our flight was cancelled and had to take a truck. It is on the way to New York City. You said you'll give us a ride to Go City. Yes, dog. We can give you a ride to Go City to go see your gang member. Oh my god. Thank you. Our band is over here. When you drive us home, can you stop at the Go City Airport because that is where my van is and I feel comfortable driving home into it since it's an old school van. Whatever you feel comfortable getting home in, sir. Hi. Are you Shaggy? Yes, I'm sir. Do you live here? I can't spit out that question to somebody I don't know and I don't know you. I am the landlord of this house and I heard that this house is internet got knocked out due to the other net snowstorm and I had to come and fix it. But the good news is that this house's internet is now working again and your gang leader called me that you have been left behind on accident and wanted me to tell you that. Internet is working now. Awesome. Thanks landlord. Anytime. I now have to go. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too. What the heck? Why are they following me? I have to get in the house quick. What was that guy who was talking to and why did he run into the Scooby Gang house? <gasps> Wait a minute. That guy who ran into the house is all starting to make sense. I think that guy was the guy I saw the other night when I was disguised as a police officer. We should check in the house's windows to find out for ourselves. <laughs> Fred, should I keep this last spare bottle out for you since you're going to drink one in a minute, or no? Now I knew who I saw. He does live here. Now my memory is recovered. Well, if the guy's there, the gang leader has to be. He's home alone. You gotta be kidding. You wanna come back tonight? Yay. Even with the guy here? Yay. I don't think that's a good idea, Belay. Now look at me. I used to live in this neighborhood when I was a lot younger and I have saw this house that is a few houses away from my old one. And it is the only reason why we have been going through this neighborhood for the past few weeks. Ever since I laid eyes on that house, I wanted it for my future house. So let's take this one step at a time, okay? We'll unload the van, we'll get a bike to you, we'll come back at 8 o'clock. Whatever you say, Belay. I find it a great idea. What's that guy going to do anyway when we come to rob all this stuff? Oh no, I don't know what I'm going to do. Those were the same guys who were trying to break into the house last night, and they are coming back at 8 o'clock to rob the house. Oh, what am I going to do? 
Freddy's gonna kill me if he comes back and sees that we have been robbed. Since the internet is fixed, I need to call the police. But wait a minute. If I do that, they might flee and the cops won't believe me. I don't want to feel like the boy who cried wolf. Oh, there's got to be a way to get them busted. But how though? Very beautiful of them playing some music. We really love the music, guys. Keep it going. We're glad that you love our music. We'll practice for the bank tomorrow. I'm running out of time. What am I going to do? That's it. I have an idea on how to get them busted. I should just let them come here so they will get busted from there. And I know how just to get them busted. This is my house. I have to defend it. Grounded, 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 grounded. Done. Now all I need to do is to wait for those guys and it will be go time. Okay, we'll check it out first. We can always come back for the truck. How do you want to go in? We'll go to the back door. Maybe he'll let us in. You never know. It's worth to try out. It's 8 o'clock. This is it. Don't get scared now. Merry Christmas, young man. We know that you are in there, and that you're all alone. Come on, man. Open up. It's Santa Claus. And his elf. We're not going to hurt you. Of course not. We have some nice presents for you. Don't be shy now and open a door. <coughs> oh my freaking god. He got me right in the leg. <laughs> what happened? Get that little son of a... Hello. Ah! That jerk just shot me right on my forehead. That's it. That's it. I'm going around the front. You go to the door to the basement. What are you Whoa, whatever. Ow. Son of a my life. All right. 
right? That's it, you little son of a crack. You are going to pay. Now, huh? Didn't slip this time. Here I go in. Ouch. Ouch. Why did you say? Ah. Ah. Oh boy, that feels good. Oh. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Stupid guy puppet are on the stairs and it made me took my socks and shoes off. Curse me idiot for making the front run up hot. Ha 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 ha. I'm finding another way. Where the f are you, you little creep? Oh no, I'm really scared. It's too late for you, dumbass. We're already in the house. We're gonna get you. Okay, come and get me. You! Get back here! Whoa! Blay! I'm coming in! I'm gonna kill that moron. And me? Blay. Why the hell did you take your shoes off? Why the hell does your hair look like it has been burned? I'm up here, you marons. Come and get me. <laughs> grounded, 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 grounded. That was a grounded jump step. Now let's get them. Whoa. Do you guys give up or you're thirsty for more? He's going up the stairs. Heads up. Huh? Don't worry, Anthony, I'll get him for you. No. Yes. We can take this guy belay. Now let's go. No. What's the matter? You're missing some teeth. What? Oh no. That's my gold tooth. My gold tooth. I'll kill him. I'll kill him. You just knocked out my gold tooth, you dumbass. If you hit me with one more paint can, then I'll beat you to death. I'm right here. Come and get me. I got him. Whoa! Ouch! Did you see the Anthony? He just went poof. Ha 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 ha! What's that laughing sound? I'm in the room right in front of you. Come and get me. He's in that room. Where'd he go? I'm out the window. What? What? The the How did he teleport himself down there? Do you see him with the phone? That is what he had used to teleport himself down there. You man's better come and get me before I call the cops. He's gonna call the cops. We better get him before he calls the cops. We're going out the window. Yay. I'm not going out the window. You want that thing with to call the cops on us? Our parents will kill us once they find out about what we've been doing. Fine. 
I'm very nervous going out the window like this. Why would he so baroque and kerosene delay? I don't know. Hey guys. Check this out. Go! No, 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 no! no, no. Now the knock out. Now it's my chance. Where are they, sir? They're right in front of me, knocked out. All right, sir. We see them. We would want you to go in your house because we heard that this is Fred Jones's house, which is your leader, and I don't want you or anybody else who lives in your house involved with this. Okay you are under arrest for trying to rob this house and for some of the other houses that you rob what is going on over here we got a call by one of the gang members from here that these burglars were trying to break into this house and rob it those burglars look very familiar we were out a while ago today from our house and we noticed that our house was robbed and we looked at the surveillance footage and these guys look like them from the footage not to mention that they also kept our water running and we have surveillance footage of the guy in the orange coat leaving it running. You should look at this footage of them leaving the water running. You always keeping the water running? You know that can cause a flood and luckily they got home just in time to stop it before the whole house would flood. Well that is because we have the web bandits. Remember. Wet bandits. W. E. Shut up at me. Just put them in the car. Wow, this is great. I hope Shag is not scared being home alone without internet. Don't worry dog, I'm sure your dad will forgive you. He loved you. It's just that we never left anywhere before by slips and we've been together for many years and we never forget each other. Relax dog, these things happen. It happened to me before. I accidentally left my younger daughter once and she was only six. It was terrible. Thank you for the drive back to Ghost City. Anytime. Hope you get home to your member safely. Be careful while driving home. It's snowing non-stop out here. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too. Hope the band goes well. Huh. Shaggy! Shaggy! Are you here? Merry Christmas, buddy! Merry Christmas, buddy. Oh, Shaggy, I'm so sorry that we left you. We went everywhere with each other for years and this happened. You got left home alone for two days. Were you alright home alone without me? I was okay home alone, Scooby. Nothing bad happened. Thank goodness. Why don't you come over here, my best bud? That is pretty adorable. I for one agree. 
that is pretty adorable. I'm so happy to have all of you back. We're happy to come home for you just in time for Christmas. Wait a minute, I need to find an open store. I don't even have bear and steak here. I went shopping yesterday. You went shopping? I got you Fred some bear and steak and food for the rest of the gang. Not kidding. What a funny guy you are Shaggy. What else did you do while we were away? Just hung around. Just hung around, huh? Wait a minute. Since you went shopping, how did you manage to pay for the food? You don't have any money. Oh that, um. What? You used one of my life-saving bags to buy the groceries? Yes I did. I also used it to buy some McDonald's that they left me because there was nothing for me to eat. You seriously used my life savings money just to buy McDonald's? That's it, I've had enough of this nice Fred thing. Prepare for concussion time. Oh no you don't, you are getting a concussion and that's final. Prepare to face my teeth. Epilog. I can't believe that we got arrested. Now what are we going to do? Excuse me, but you two have some visitors. Oh my god. It's our parents. Are you guys here to bail us out and take us home for Christmas? No, we are not Belair. We came here to say to you two that we can't believe that you and your friend Anthony robbed the Marquez's house and left the water running. And you also tried to rob the Scooby Gang's house while they were on vacation. But thank God Shaggy was there to stop you guys from doing this. For this, you are grounded 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 for 2,165,492,125 decades. And as for you Anthony, you are grounded 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 for 2165492125215550520. Three decades. Even more than your friend Belair. We have to go now and we hope that you too enjoy your time in jail. Merry Christmas you both idiots. I can't believe that we will have to spend our Christmas locked in prison. This is the worst Christmas ever. But that guy said it does traps on us and got us busted is going to pay once we get out of here. <laughs>